Good morning, ESM. I'm Casey, and we're here talking about the Grammys. I didn't watch them. I don't know if you watched them. I'm still going to talk about them. Um, first, we're going to start off saying congratulations to Beyonce, winning four Grammy Awards this year, and this is taking her up to a lifetime total of 28, which is the record high for everyone in the industry. Including this, her daughter Blue Ivy also won her first award, which is really good. But more about this after news with Elena. In news this morning, National Guard soldier Justin Grenell was found unresponsive on Thursday and dead on Friday. He was assigned from Marcellus to protect the U.S. Capitol after the January 6th attack. Grenell was among 504 new New York National Guard soldiers deployed. There is no foul play suspected, but the death is under investigation by the Washington Metro Police Department. In other news, the Vatican has come out with a statement saying the Catholic Church will not bless same-sex couples because they can't excuse sin. A two-page document was written in response to a question asked about whether the Church can bless same-sex couples. The answer, which was approved by Pope Francis, was a solid negative. Catholic teaching is that marriage is a sacred union between a man and a woman. Since gay relationships are not part of the plan, they are unable to be blessed by the Catholic Church for the time being. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Stay, so let's just jump in right into it. So I've been talking, I've been looking things up and uh, there is a very much difference between the record of the year, award, album of the year, and song of the year. For record of the year, it goes to the performer, so this year's winner was Billie Eilish of her song, Everything I Wanted. And um, they, that was produced by Robert Kanelsky, Fennett O'Connor, and the engineer for that is John Greenham. Billie Eilish won that one because it's the record of the year, but there are other ones like Song of the Year, which we will talk in our next anchor banner, which is going to the, to the, to the sound producer and the engineers. Um, now after this, on to weather with J John. Hey guys, I do weather now, so that's cool. Um, it's a little chilly out um, today and this morning. It'll be you know, warming up a little bit tomorrow, a little bit of snow um, on Wednesday, St. Paddy's Day. Um, it'll warm up a little bit. This will be some snow, some showers. Thursday will be warm as well. Friday will be in the upper 30s. And then Saturday and Sunday will be the warmest days of the week. And I'm John with your weather. Welcome back. So now we're going to talk about Song of the Year, which, as I mentioned before, it goes to the goes instead of from the songwriter, goes to the co-writers, the writers, and the engineers. So this year's um, Song of the Year is "I Can't Breathe." Uh, it, the singer is Dennis Ellie, and the producers are H E R, Terrace um, Thomas, and yeah. So there's been a lot of Grammys this year, with ones coming from pop soloists and pop duos. Uh, so after this, we'll do a quick part about this after sports with Aiden. The March Madness NCAA tournament bracket has been announced and the SU men's team is the 11th seed and will play against the six seed team San Diego State on Friday at 9.40. Legendary Saints quarterback Drew Brees announced his retirement from the NFL after 20 seasons in the league. And the boys basketball team closed off the season with 48 to 47 buzzer beater win against JD. Unexpected four second Buffalo. Birch will right hoping for the buzzer beater. And the glass doesn't count. It does. With your sports. 
right. And now a quick speed run of um, performances who, and people who got their Grammys. So we have um, the new artist, Meg Megan Sheila Fallon. Um, for best solo performances, we have Watermelon Sugar for Harry Styles. Best duo is Rain On Me with Lady Gaga and Ariana Grande. Best pop vocals is Future Nostalgia by Dua Lipa. Lupa. Best, best traditional pop vocal was American Standard by James Taylor. Best dancing record, 10% by um, Ken Kenendra featuring um, Kelly Ulis. And a few more, we have a best dancing electronic album being Booba Kendrelia. Ka Katrina, I butchered that name and I'm, and I'm apologizing immensely. Um, we have best contemporary instrumentalist album being live at, at Robert, Robert Albert Hall with Snarky Puppy. And lastly, we have best rock performance, which is Shemelikia by Fiona Apple. Well, that's what our show about, quick rundown with the Grammys. Um, so from me, everyone here at The Morning Show, stay safe, have a great day, and have fun. Syracuse Manoa Spartans take it with just a half a second to go. 48-47, that is your final score. The A Syracuse Manoa Spartans have defeated your James Little Red Rams.